Hello everybody, I am Tom and you are watching me play Vampire. Uh, in today's episode, first things first, we have to go talk to Lord Redgrave. Because we found and supposedly put a stop to the source of the very weird skull infection, where they grow big growths on their bodies. Hello, Lady Ashbury. Elizabeth, what are you doing here? I've been formally asked to witness your triumph, my dear. After all, isn't it the natural role of a woman to support her man in victory? But it's you who insisted I join the Ascalon. Please forgive my giddiness. I'm just overcome by the thrill of finally being allowed within these hallowed halls. You certainly have an inquisitive mind. It's quite something. Elizabeth Ashbury. Only you can make me smile in these difficult times. And the same to you, Jonathan Reed. Now go have your little chat with the chairman. I can see he's practically bursting to hear your report. Interesting. There was a lot of sardonicism there, but, you know. We'll talk later, Jonathan. Interesting. <laughs> it's one of the most sardonic things I think I've ever heard, her talking there. I think we're safe for now. I pursued and killed the last hunter with my own hands as he tried to escape the club. Hmm. You're Lord Redgrave, right? Yeah. Were you? Have you heard the rumours of some horned vampire revealing himself and singing obscure songs around the city? What is this new malevolence? Interesting. Uh, old guy not here, seemingly. So it's just Redgrave, the old human guy. Welcome back to the Ascalon Club, Lance Bearer. Please tell us the good news. Have you put an end to the epidemic? My hypothesis was correct. Doris Fletcher was the source of the contagion in this part of town. She was probably the first to be infected. And you cleansed her before the hunters, I've been told. Well done, Dr. Reed. You thrust your lance and pierced the very heart of the corruption. Hmm. Some questions remain, indeed. But some questions remain. The important thing is, we won a major battle for the survival of London. For that, we salute you. Thank you, my lord. Now, I have another task for you. One of the utmost importance. Perhaps even more so than the previous. I'm listening. It's time for you to perform a most sacred duty for the club. I want you to recruit a new vampire. Recruit a new vampire? Are you sending me on some sort of diplomatic mission? Not exactly. I want you to make Aloysius Dawson the Ekon he deserves to be. He doesn't want to be a... right? I'm not sure I'm the best candidate for such a task. I can hear the hesitation in your voice, Dr. Reed. I admire a man of principles. But in this matter, there is more at stake than your moral comfort. It's not a moral question, Lord Redgrave. It's the responsibility of giving immortality to a man I barely know. Nonsense. Aloysius has been a member of the Ascalon for years. This is but the fruition of a long-held plan. How would you like me to proceed? Aloysius is waiting for you at the Dawson Estate. Once the deed is done, I'll join you there to celebrate this momentous occasion. Before I go, I have a few questions. All right, I'm listening. Why Aloysius? Because he's rich, presumably. Because he's about to die. And he just may be the most influential mm. man in England. He has power still. After me, of course. Did he choose me? No, I did. My decision is very recent, to say the least, but it is entirely mine. Does he know I'm coming? He can't wait to become your progeny, Dr. Reed. I don't believe that. Especially now that you have shown how strong your lineage is through your sister. I'm not going to turn someone who doesn't want to be turned. How would you like me to proceed? Don't worry. Aloysius has had many years to prepare himself. He has studied our kind for decades. 
I distinctly remember, maybe I'm misremembering, but I distinctly remember him saying he didn't want to be a vampire. So shall I just let him drink my blood? Yes. Aloysius will gratefully sup on your blood. His heart will slow, then stop. But he will rise again as one of us, an immortal. Is there any danger? Our blood alters a mortal body so deeply that some don't survive the metamorphosis. They die for good. But Mr. Dawson has been preparing himself oh. for a long time. You invited Lady Ashbury. Wouldn't that be breaking one of your cardinal rules? No women allowed. Not allowed as members, no. But considering the circumstances, I thought you'd like to have her here to witness your triumph. So it's a temporary admittance, then. Something of a bargain, considering the crisis we're currently facing. Interesting. Goodbye, Lord Redgrave. Reach Temple Church entrance. Um, I want to level up before I go do this. Are you all right, Jonathan? Lord Redgrave has just ordered me to turn Aloysius Dawson. To make him my progeny. I see. And how do you feel about this? I'd like your advice on the matter. The real question here is, why has his lordship given you this task? Do you mm. think it's some sort of trap? Do you really want to know what I think about this? I do, yes. To make an immortal of a soulless blackguard like Aloysius Dawson will only lead to a disaster for London. The man is already dead inside. Should I refuse? Is he? Perhaps politely suggest that Lord Redgrave turn the man into a vampire himself. Don't you dare, my dear. According to what I've recently discovered, his lordship could kill you for even broaching the subject. Really? Why? I've recently found proof that the Earl of Bristol is of lesser lineage mm. and only capable of creating skulls. Yeah. Please tell me more about your recent investigation. What a loser. As long as you lower your voice. Are you sure your information about Redgrave is correct? He says he's the progeny of the great knight William Marshall. I mean, I never believed that. Nine centuries ago. That's a lie. Lord Redgrave is unable to create anything but skulls if the poor soul survive at all. Interesting. How can you be sure the information was correct? I made the acquaintance of a most interesting informer while investigating your maker, from whom I learned the truth about Lord Redgrave. Why so vindictive? You suddenly sound like you're angry. Forgive me, Jonathan. I hate myself for it, but I feel such pride in my discovery. I'm afraid I just can't help it. Which is? He did serve William Marshall. And yes, the blood he covets as a token does truly belong to that legendary knight. But he was never his progeny. His lineage is not so noble. Hmm. What would you have me do about Dawson? The man is dangerous. Did you know he plans to build a wall to separate the healthy rich from the sickly poor? Mm-hmm. Do not make him your progeny. What would you do? The man's dying already. Let the reaper harvest the rotten fruit that is his soul. What would happen if I made Dawson an Ekon like myself? You would add a powerful immortal into a suffering world. An immortal who already craves authority. Maybe I could teach him control, like you taught me. Lead him down the right path. Mr. Dawson spent his life searching for a way to cheat death. I'm sure he has spent decades dreaming of how he'd spend eternity as a tyrant. I mean, maybe. He's allowing... Seamus to use his old factory as a free clinic. I still don't fully trust Elizabeth, by the way. 
Be careful. Like, I, I think the character of Jonathan 100% does, but I don't at all. Um, I don't trust anybody. I don't trust Ashbury. I don't trust Redgrave. Um, Redgrave is easier not to trust because he's not particularly transparent. Uh, sorry, he is particularly transparent. Um, it's quite obvious that he's going to double cross us at some point, but I feel like Elizabeth is as well. It's just she's more opaque. She's more opaque about it. She's harder to read. We'll see. Maybe she's on the up and up, but mm, I've never really trusted her. See, and this is what I'm talking about with these loading screens. They're insane. By the way, I don't know why they're suddenly just taking a million years, but they are. It looks like vampires have to obey Mendel's laws when producing progeny. Powers pass from one generation to another. That's why Dawson wants me to sire him. Hmm. Women's right to vote is only the first step. It's interesting. Um, I need to level up. I 100% need to level up. The reality of the situation is I do not... Leaks out alone and can't find her way home. Yes, Mr. Jonathan. Here we go. What can you tell me about Aloysius Dawson? Not much, sir. Mr. Dawson's house used to be a good house with many servants. I heard he fired them all recently. Hmm. Interesting. Fired them with the plan on becoming a vampire, maybe? Here you go. Avery, I finally deciphered my father's puzzle. Among other things, I found his watch. I'd really like you to have it. I can't accept this gift, sir. Yes, you can, Avery. You deserve it. I... I thank you, sir. I'll keep it until the day I die. I'm glad I could do that. Um, that makes me incredibly happy. And it's, it's now well worth the fact that I got that... Um, that was like that big side quest, like scavenger hunt I did from Letters with My Father. When I found out that he'd essentially left and committed suicide. Um, well, at the very least, he was dying and he didn't want a, his family to see him on his deathbed, so he left to die somewhere else. Whether or not he actually committed suicide or not, it's hard to tell. Um, but he essentially left so that his family wouldn't see him die. Because he was apparently sick. But he left this big tre like treasure hunt, and we went on it, and we finally found what it came, and it was like, you get a watch. I was like, okay. It's kind of anticlimactic, but this sort of roundabout where we give it to Avery, that actually makes it much nicer. Um, nothing. Nothing. Goodbye, Avery. Please watch over my mother until I return. Of course, Mr. Jonathan, but please return as soon as possible. Um, I guess I'll talk to my mother about Aloysius too, if I can pull it off. I don't know if she's up here. Oh, there she is. Hello again, Mother. Jonathan, back already? Good, good. I was just about to go outside to find you. You shouldn't stay away for so long. Hmm. Goodbye, Interesting. Mother. Try to rest now. Goodbye, son. Please come back soon. She's not, obviously not, uh with it enough to be able to answer that question. Or at least Jonathan doesn't seem to think she... I am touching no buttons right now. Hello? That was weird. <laughs> that was very weird. Um, I need to stock up on some healing potions. And some blood potions. Ooh. Speaking of blood potions. Uh, now, I'm gonna level up. Um, I think what I'll do is I'll decide what I want, and then I'll come back and show you what I've done. So I'll actually just chuck a cut here is probably the better way of doing it. Alright, we're back. So I level up all my health, 
like a lot. I was at zero. I'm now at plus 300 health. <laughs> Excuse me. I also upped. Excuse me again. I also upped my physical prowess, so my endurance was at 45%. Now it's an additional 75%. So that should make me quite a bit better. I still have 1500. Um, some of these upgrades are insanely expensive, particularly when I don't feed on any civilians. Uh, no one's sick here. Everybody got healed here, and nobody got sick. So this place is stable. This place got sanitized. And Whitechapel... So I only need to cure one disease, actually. Sweet. Cool. That's actually fantastic. Um, I'm gonna get an extra cure for the cold, I guess. Why not? I have a lot more health now, by the way. <laughs> so much more health. Um, that's a noticeable upgrade. Alright, so, we need to go up and reach the temple grounds, okay, so that's where I expected to go. I also kind of need to talk to Swansea, but I think I can put that off for now. There are rumors of abductions in the West End at night. That can't be abductions in the West End, eh? Now, I should pretty easily be able to get here, I think. Just run up this way and in here. Uh, I don't know how many enemies there are going to be along the way. At least one. Oh, you deaf. Get in with No! The cross is dead. I'm not particularly worried about those ones. I'm going to kind of sucks. I can't see through this window by looking things. Annoying. But ultimately, not too bad. Uh, temple church entrance. I think I'm in temple church entrance. Um, also, my timer is like... Well, the, the battery on my phone is almost out, so my timer might actually cut out here. But we're sitting at like 20 minutes now, so I should be able to judge from there. Some scale down there, good to know. Is there any benefit to me coming up here? Other than killing the dudes that were up here? I'm not entirely sure. I guess maybe sneaking around. The door has been unlocked, that's nice I suppose. Oh, I see. So I can go down the other side as well and unlock both these doors. I don't again I don't know the, the purpose of doing that, but I can. So I guess I will. Another Braille, cool. I should bring this to Mason Swanborough. An unreadable text written in Braille, cool. Um, so, there should be one more that I need after that, I think, because I've brought him two. That's the third one. I think there's four in total. 
So, that's something. I guess that's a reason to go in there. Temple Garden. I think there was like a door I could unlock coming this way. Hmm, not unlock. I could actually make it in there the first time. I remember now. I cannot enter. I should find another way to get into the neighborhood. From Whitechapel, I guess? Oh, oh, I know where to go. Okay, perfect. Um, I found this place and I was trying to figure out what it was last time I was here. Skull. Take these guys out a lot easier now. They're level 29, but just those couple of levels makes a difference. I only gained two levels, but that seems to have made a massive difference. Uh, so last time there was like a proper vampire guarding I think this. This passage could lead me close to Aloysius Dawson's mansion. Your prey is mine now! Gotcha! You're mine! Good bite. Whatever. So I found this place and didn't go down here because I figured it was something I would need to go later. Um, I guess I could have gone through this place and then unlocked that so this would have been quicker now, but I don't know, we'll see. Hmm. Dark and dank. Interesting. There doesn't seem to be anything down here. It just seems to literally be a path that takes you up to the other side. Oh, uh, maybe there's some stuff up here. There's some blood over there, so maybe something. Is she locked? It's locked? Yeah. Your blood is now mine! Hello? Well, hello. Leon Augustin. That did a lot of damage. Who is this guy? He has a dapper hat, I give him that. Die. Rocking that bowler hat. My pie does so much damage to him, it's insane. Ow. 
He's level 32, but he seems like really easy comparatively. The violence of Volkods. Never let the size of a Volkod fool you. Their massive bastards can be as quick as any leech, and can put down and can be put down the same way by puncturing and pinning their rotten carcass on the ground before beheading them. Remember, it's all about preparation and exploiting your target's weakness. The problem, of course, is that Volkods have no weaknesses. They are strong, fast, sensible, and deadly. They are killing machines with one simple goal, to put their huge claws around your neck. So, if any of you lads are unlucky enough to have a face of Volkod, just remember this. Dodge and make it mad. Hurt it, taunt it, and make it lose its temper. Volkod's brains lose... Uh, lose it when irritated enough. They stop thinking and start blindly attacking. This is the only chance to win by gaining tactical advantage against a stupid beast. Use it. From Know Your Enemy by Carl Eldrick, pre one leader. Fair enough. They are among us. Investigation updated. Interesting. They are among us. Oh, they are among us. Okay, oh, that was one of the things I found. Okay, so I need two more. I need fertile is the belly of the beast and rare species of vampire. Fair enough. Alright, so he was a big bitch, but ultimately not too hard to take out in the grand scheme of things. And we're already at like half an hour on this episode, which is insane to me. But, you know. Whatever. Um, if we come up this way, I'm pretty sure this will unlock that shortcut back from where we were. Yep. So I've unlocked that door, which I assume is some kind of shortcut. My name is Robert Teasdale. To whoever may find this message, please try to help me. My daughter, Louise, disappeared a few weeks ago. She has seen... For the last time in a bar in the neighborhood, not the one where she works as a waitress, but another one, the Dancing Trout. Two witnesses saw her leave the place with an elegant unknown man, maybe a foreigner. There were many rumors of men and women vanishing in the area. I am convinced my Louise has been abducted and is kept somewhere nearby. I know the police will not help, and I've already, uh, for they already have more interest, important things to do. So I've decided to look for my Louise by myself. If you find this letter, it means I failed saving her. My Louise is a good girl who does not deserve to die like this. She is of medium size with dark hair and a scar on her right cheek. Please search for her and finish this work for me. God bless you. Louise's father was determined to find and save her. Hmm. Um, she was the girl who we found, like he, he put a note on the door saying, if you come back, I'm here, I'm looking for you. Um, don't go alone, all that kind of stuff. It's locked, all right. Uh, so as such, I'm go I want to try and search for her, because I assume she's down here somewhere. Also, sorry about running around with the the V vision on. <laughs> I can actually see through it fairly well, which is why I just leave it on all the time, because it's actually more useful, because you can see enemies through walls and all that kind of stuff. Um, but I'm sure it doesn't make for a particularly pleasant viewing experience. Uh, so is this the way... Hmm. Nothing here? Nothing here. I guess just maze. Maze for sake of maze. So this is where we fought the Vulcan. We searched in there. Nothing through there. We go there. That's a father. Nothing up there. So we go this way. Only one way to go. Makes things easier, I suppose. I just don't want to miss finding this girl if I can help it. Because if I can rescue the girl, great. I cannot enter. Intriguing. Shh. 
Oh. Interesting. Oh, I need to go up one higher, so I guess I need to find the last of the th these things. Oh, there it is. The door has been unlocked. Cool. Oh. Uh, nice. Point of that was... What exactly? Uh, okay. I assume if I lower the water level, it will lock the door again, right? Because I can now unlock this door. Mini kind of gauntlet, it seems like. Seems simple enough. I don't know exactly where they came from, I guess these holes. Can unlock this door, at the very least. I assume I'm doing the right thing. So water level is now... Oh, the stairs here. Interesting. Okay. Now that makes sense to me. Cool. Still looking for this girl. I expect her to be here somewhere. There. I can hear her. Recent diary. Uh, 13th of October 1918, I've just arrived in London after a gruelling journey from Manchester. The city is sad and despa uh, despaired. It will not be difficult to find a woman willing to escape death here. I cannot wait to start my research. Soon I won't be a virgin anymore. Fucking... Fucking loser alert. Um, the cell is... <laughs> He's gonna kidnap a woman? Is that the whole thing? Went to escape death here. Okay, so he's a vamp. So he became a vampire as a virgin, I guess. Start my research. The cell is ready. All I must do now is find the appropriate candidate and bring her in. She'll be beautiful and gentle with a nice temper. I've already tested my persuasion ability on a few women and it worked most of the time. But I don't want my future bride to be submissive. I only... <coughs> I will only use my power to bring her here. Then I'll tell her what I intend to do and I'll let her accept. This is important. I want my lady to willing to accept me to become my wife for eternity. Okay. I think I found the perfect match. Her name is Louise. She is a waitress in a public house and she's quite charming. I love her attitude when serving drinks in that bar. 
Tough and proud, I am sure she will accept my offer. Once she is mine, once the vampire blood will have reached her metamorphosis, metamorphosis, her face she'll heal properly and her scars will disappear. Then she will be the perfect beauty. I'm the only one to see right now. Hmm. That's... It's kind of fucked. The, the idea, like, she'll be the perfect beauty, I'm the only one to see right now, but he's still trying to get rid of that scar. If you see the beauty through the scar, then it doesn't matter if the scar's there or not. I don't understand Louise's refusal for my proposal. Why would she? I promised her I wouldn't... I would never force her to anything. I may let her uh, starve a little. Then I'll understand I'm her only option. Then she'll understand I'm her only option. Interesting. So he doesn't want to mesmerize her into it. Jesus. Hello. Miss Teasdale. Are you all right? How do you know my name? Who are you? My name is Dr. Reed. I managed to track you down thanks to your father. So my father really was looking after me. This man, this vampire told me my father was dead. Is it true? I'm afraid so, miss. I'm so sorry for your loss. But you are free to go, as your abductor is no more. I suppose my jailer also killed my father, didn't he? Thankfully, he did not search your father's corpse, where I found his notes describing where he might find you. You should read them. I must find my father's body. He deserves a proper burial. Nothing to say right now. Uh, I can... I can't give a medical checkup even. Goodbye, Miss Teasdale. And be careful. Until we meet again. You should return to a safer place, Miss Teasdale. What's more, I'm not sure you should see your father in his condition. He was savagely disfigured. Thank you for your sympathy, Doctor. But I recently learned to stare horror in the face. Indeed. Goodbye, Miss Teasdale. And be careful. This is going to be a long-ass episode, by the way. Um, it doesn't feel long for me, because I guess a lot of stuff is happening. Yeah, I think she's used to gruesome shit. Look at this. Jesus. So it's literally just some fucking incel vampire who wanted to... Who wanted to get his rocks off. But he was also apparently Catholic and didn't want to have sex before marriage. I don't know. Weirdo. Um, nevertheless, I'm gonna eat this rat. This of blood. Sorry, rats. This is despicable. I love how Jonathan keeps saying that, yet I keep doing it. There we go. I can't Sorry, rats. I'm I actually kind of feel more bad about that than eating people, which is weird. Uh, so this should take me to the surface, to where I need to go, I assume. And I should be able to open, unlock the, the way back. So I go to a shortcut. So I've got a shortcut there. I probably also want to see if I can run all the way through and get to the shortcut at the Whitechapel end as well, so I can have both ends open. Because I actually need to go to Whitechapel anyway. Uh, to heal someone who's over there, I think. Actually, no, he may have been at the docks that I need to heal. Yeah, he was at the docks that I need to heal, but nevertheless. Alright, we're back. Uh, I was talking through that loading screen. I, it may not have actually properly uh, recorded my audio, so... I'm in a new area. Uh, first thing I want to do... Who are you? Don't know. Talk to you in a minute. Um, in fact, I'll talk to everyone <laughs> next episode. <coughs> I just wanted to unlock that so that I have this open. Because um, I'm going to end the video here and I don't know where it's going to put me. So, that's the thing. I want to make sure that... <coughs> hopefully it just puts me in the temple church. <coughs> but it may not. Um, it may put me back at my house, in which case I'll have to get my way back here, so I want to make sure that door's open. Anyway, uh, that's going to be it for this episode. End up being quite long, um, because there's not much that I can really cut out of that, except loading screens, and I'm sitting at like 45 minutes, or close to 45 minutes. Uh, so in any case, thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, please leave a like. If you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. And as always, thanks for watching, and I shall see you next time. Ooh, bye guys.